Alright, it's Sunday morning and I'm out here trying to cut this stupid tree out of here because it has grown around the gas pipe and some of it's going under my house. And uh, <laughs> I've already been through a couple of batteries on the Sawzall and a couple of blades. I switched to my little 10 inch battery operated chainsaw which is cutting it a little bit faster but uh i think that battery's about dead too so i guess we're gonna quit and go on and do something else for a while good morning oh yeah i'm backlit <laughs> well we'll change that in a minute um I've already done quite a few things this morning. It's already 10 o'clock. The sun's coming out and starting to beat on me. But uh, I'm trying to clean up this area in here in the garden where the awesome tomatoes are. This raised bed right here and that one way back over there are both going to go away. So today's goal is to get this one out of the way. We're going to lay some more cardboard down where it was to help keep weeds and things from coming up. And I have a lot of pots that I'm going to put this soil in. And we're going to cluster some of them right in here. And then um, they'll be ready to plant some stuff in later. The game plan in this space is that we're going to pull the greenhouse frame down more. So I have a little more space at the other end to work in. Um, I can't do any of that until the tomatoes are all done. So that'll probably be a couple of months from now before I get to that. But I want to get things um, going in that direction as I can and as I have a little bit of time. So we're going to get going. So we got some of this done. Those two pots with cherry tomatoes in them, the roots have actually grown into the ground, so I cannot move them without destroying those plants. And the same with this one over here. So this little area, I have to wait until we're done with that tomato plant, and then I can clean that up. I move some plants around. The cardboard is been gotten rained on and then dried out kind of wonky so it'll take a little bit to get it to lay down flat again that's fine and now that raised bed we filled one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven big pots those are probably like three gallon pots they're good size and uh yeah, so we'll be, I will be working on this some more as I go along. Freya, get out of there. Psh, no. That's one of the reasons we cover all the planting beds with wire and shade cloth and things. Keep the cats and the birds out.
Okay, so next thing on the list, I'm not sure, time for a drink of water. All right, next project up on the list is we're gonna work in the girl's pen a little bit. Hello, Storm. They all came to the gate because they think I have some treats, but I have no treats for you. Nope. What I need to work on here is this back wall. I'm gonna close it up a little bit because winter's coming for one thing and the wind comes whistling through here. And then the other part of that is getting it a little bit more stable since it's just made out of pallets. I need to kind of connect them together more. And I want to build a hay rack. So I want to have um, a hay rack back here with a shelf to catch the loose hay. And uh, hopefully we will not waste so much here. Yeah. Well, that's not too bad. I got two sections blocked up pretty good. Yes, the wind will come through the cracks. But remember, I'm going to put a hay rack there. So that'll help block the wind and diffuse it a little bit more. We will leave that space open above that wall right under the roof so that we have enough ventilation. I mean, if it becomes a problem this winter, if we get a lot of rain and wind blowing in through there, I can add some more things to block that up, but I don't think that's going to be an issue. Um, I ran out of long enough boards, and I need to cut that slab so that it fits right. Um, but I'm waiting for my other batteries to charge up, and I'm out of little screws. So this is done enough for now. Okay, so it's lunchtime. I'm starving. I need to go run some errands, but I got to empty the car out because uh, I didn't empty it yesterday. And uh, I got to take all the farmer's market things and get them in the house where it gets too hot. Oh, holy moly. We have quite a train wreck here tonight. Um, Miss Storm, Bambi's daughter from a couple years ago, is in heat. And as I was putting Esmeralda away and letting Bambi out, Storm got out. I couldn't stop her. She almost knocked me down. And uh, she ran up to the buck pen and got the boys all excited. And I got a rope on her and was taking her back to her pen and Bentley hopped the fence and was trying to breed her. I think, I hope, that I was able to prevent him from completing the deed. But that was quite a train wreck. I, the rope came off of Storm and I was able to get it on Bentley and tie him to the fence by the boys. And Storm ran in here to the milk stand. And um, I was able to put a halter on her and I got her tied up. So, huh, hopefully I can just milk this girl here <laughs> and get everybody put away where they belong without any more incidents tonight. I am so glad these girls are not in heat for a long period of time. 
usually it's just about 24 hours or so sometimes a little more sometimes a little bit less but oh boy am i out of breath trying to wrestle everybody and keep her from getting bread i don't want her bread she needs to go away she's uh not a very good milker and she's not a very good mama because she has more than one baby and then she doesn't love any she just has one favorite and that's the only one she'll love so um she needs to just go somewhere else so and i'm just trying to keep an eye on bentley that he doesn't get himself hurt or hung up or hang himself or anything because they actually clipped him to bashful's pen and uh it looks like they're kind of fussing with each other down there, but hopefully they'll be all right till I get done. Oh, okay. Well, and that's and that's a little happening around here on Sunday night. What, dude? So in the middle of everything. Digger's over here in his pen, going crazy. He's barking and growling. He's dug this big hole. I have no idea what he thinks is in here. I don't see anything. What? you're sniffing at it's a rock you dummy it's a rock it's a rock is that what you were <laughs> oh lordy <laughs> oh i just don't know <laughs> Okay, I gotta go take care of goats, dude. <laughs>